Healthy Schools Certification What does the Healthy Schools approach really mean? No matter where you're from, we all want what's best for our kids, am I right? So how can schools support students who are healthy, happy, and ready to learn? Together, how do we encourage positive mental health and well-being? Growing up in today's ever-changing world has many opportunities, but also many challenges. How do we support all students in our diverse school communities to acquire the knowledge and skills to live healthy, active lives? People from around the globe are making healthy schools a priority. It goes by different names in different parts of the world. In Latin America, they use the term health-promoting schools. In Germany, good healthy schools. Even in the United States and Canada, terms vary from coordinated school health to comprehensive school health. But whether it's called healthy schools or something else, the goal is the same. So let's talk about school-aged kids in Canada. We know that Canadian students spend a lot of time in school. In fact, they spend more time at school than almost anywhere else. So a healthy school community can make a big difference on students' health and well-being, now and in the future. So what does a healthy school look like, sound like, and feel like? A healthy school involves the whole community coming together to share ideas, plan, and take action. We're talking about an approach that involves all of us. Healthy schools allow young people to be better equipped to meet the challenges of today and tomorrow. They'll be empowered to make healthy choices and manage the challenges they face. Sounds pretty simple, right? And what we're talking about here isn't a solo performance. A healthy school really takes more than just the students and school staff. Whether you work in education, public health, local business, or you're a parent or caregiver, family member, or a student, you can do this. It takes a community. You know the old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Hey, you still with me? In order to work towards healthy schools, let's start with the basics. Think of it like planting a garden. Now let's start by raking the soil, which comes from policy. It's important that school, board, and community policies support healthy, active living for youth. It could be healthy food policies in the cafeteria, or bike helmet policies to ride safely to school. Healthy policies make the healthy choice the easy choice, and students should always be a part of these discussions. Now that the soil is ready, let's plant the seeds. When looking at teaching and learning, we're talking about what students are learning before, during, and after school through curriculum and programs. If positive mental health is your priority, you could teach students different coping mechanisms throughout the year to encourage them to focus on their wellness. The seeds are planted, so let's water our garden to help it grow. When it comes to social and physical environments, we mean positive social relationships at school and an accessible physical environment. Positive relationships help build a safe, supportive social environment where all students are empowered to be active members in their communities. A positive physical environment includes the school building, the surrounding school grounds, equipment, and other facilities in the school community. For example, healthy eating can be addressed by building a vegetable garden at your school. Then you can start a breakfast or snack program that is free of charge, where businesses can provide access to local food and students and school staff can provide fresh vegetables from the school garden. Now let's add some sunshine to keep your garden healthy and strong, just like your healthy school community. Partnerships and services allow you to access resources that exist in your community and collaborate to make a bigger impact. Coordinating something like a walking program where participants clear local trails and routes, making them safe and accessible for everyone. Getting support from community members like students, parents or caregivers, public health and recreation providers involves the whole community. To keep your garden growing, keep your partnerships strong through regular conversations. Now that you've built your understanding and a pretty great garden, it's up to all of us to make this happen. Help spread the word. Raise awareness for the importance of healthy schools by talking to community members about what you've learned and engage them in working towards and growing healthy schools in your community. You're not alone. The Healthy Schools Certification Team is here to help, offering resources and services that will support you in taking action. And taking action only leads to success.